Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Hokage, Kakashi become my younger brother and the ninja boss behind the scenes. Chapter 81 Although the tone was harsh, when it reached Hitaki Sho and Kakashi's ears, they still felt a little warm in their hearts. Eternal sister, Namikaze Minato was as reassuring as ever, and his personality charm was the best among the ninjas of the same period. According to the ninja's travel speed, it would take about two days to travel from Konoha village to the border of grass country without any accidents. However, in order to meet the next challenge, Namikaze Minato made a detailed plan before departure and set up several places for the eighth team to rest. Therefore, it was not until the evening of the third day that they arrived in the grass country. In the grass village, Namikaze Minato had completed the task handover with the grass ninjas of the first squadron. Then let's go, go early and come back early. Okay. One of the three people being protected nodded in response, Next, I'll trouble you, Namikaze Minato, we will follow all your arrangements. Namikaze Minato's subsequent explanation was exactly the same as what he had said to Hitaki Sho and others before, and after listening, all the grass ninjas did not raise any objections. Hitaki Sho, who was watching silently on the side, lowered his head slightly, hiding the greed and desire in his eyes well. The fifteen Kusagakur ninjas responsible for flanking the three intelligence officers were all Chunin level, and one of them even reached the level of special Janin. The three intelligence officers were weaker, two of them were Jenin, and the leading intelligence ninja was Chunin. Even so, Hitaki Sho still hoped that these fifteen Kusagakur ninjas would defect. If all of them defected, he could earn up to 1410 gold coins, and at least 750. In this way, he would be much closer to the goal of purchasing the scheduled equipment. Thinking of this, Hitaki Sho was a little excited, and he couldn't resist the temptation of improving his strength. Whether it's your trick or not, I hope you can arrange more backups, otherwise these few people alone are not enough for me to brush. He silently hoped in his heart, and when he saw Namikaze Minato make a gesture to move forward, Hitaki Sho put away these thoughts and walked side by side with Kakashi at the end of the team. The slightly bloated escort team marched for a while. When the stars began to twinkle in the sky, the surroundings became unusually quiet. Hitaki Sho, who was carrying out this kind of mission for the first time, had already sensed the coming of the storm, and Namikaze Minato, who was walking in front, was even more perceptive than him. Namikaze Minato raised his right arm and made a gesture that only the eighth team could understand. Not long after, Hitaki Sho and Kakashi, who were walking at the end of the team, quickened their pace and approached Namikaze Minato, who was at the front. Listen, there may be an ambush ahead. I will send seven people from the Kusagakur escort team to cover the rear with me, and you will take my place and continue to complete the escort mission. Teacher Minato, we understand. In fact, Hitaki Sho was a little worried that this was a trick to lure the tiger away from the mountain, but when Namikaze Minato handed him a flying thunder god Kanai, Hitaki Sho immediately understood the teacher's intention. Lure the tiger away from the mountain is indeed a good tactic, but for Namikaze Minato, it is just a few more uses of the flying thunder god technique. However, Hitaki Shang did not want to miss this opportunity to assist. After thinking about it, he reluctantly bought the cheapest equipment from the equipment store, Alchemy Array. As long as Namikaze Minato is affected by the buff effect applied by Hitaki Shang when killing an enemy, Hitaki Shang can get an assist. Moreover, in addition to the actual skill assistance, the equipment in the equipment store can also be used, which gives Hitaki Shang more room for operation. Teacher, this is a small prop that can restore chakra, which will be helpful for your next battle. Hitaki Shang handed Namikaze Minato a light blue pendant. Namikaze Minato did not refuse, took the pendant and put it on his neck. Be careful, the surprise on Namikaze Minato's face flashed, and he felt some subtle changes in his body. But when performing the task, he did not ask or say much, just told Hitaki Shang and Kakashi, and then rushed forward quickly with seven grass ninjas. The battle is about to start. Hitaki Sho's feeling was exactly the same as Namikaze Minato's judgment. There was indeed a team of ninjas lying in ambush ahead of the planned route. Namikaze Minato led seven grass ninjas and rushed into the encirclement without hesitation. At the same time, Hitaki Sho and Kakashi led the team to bypass the center of the battle. When they were completely away from the center of the battle, 
Hitaki Sho looked back and saw that three of the seven grass ninjas led by Namikaze Minato suddenly turned against them and stabbed their teammates fiercely with kunai. Hitaki Kakashi. Hitaki Sho yelled. Kakashi reacted immediately, and the ninja sword behind him was quickly unsheathed to block the incoming kunai. While Hitaki Sho gave a warning, he quickly raised his hand and shot out a purple-red chakra chain, and swung out a normal attack with a passive effect with one hand. Boom! The grass ninja who had just rushed up flew backwards at the same speed, his clothes on his chest were torn, and the blood spurting out of his mouth was mixed with fragments of internal organs. When Hitaki Sho was still a genin, his passive attack was equivalent to an offensive C-level ninjutsu. Now that he has been promoted to the elite chunin level, his passive attack has broken through the scope of C-level ninjutsu and is powerful enough to reach the level of B-level ninjutsu. The attack power of C-level ninjutsu is so strong that even if a ninja with a stronger physique takes it, at most he will be seriously injured or unconscious. However, the power of B-level ninjutsu is almost fatal to ninjas with high attack and fragile skin. Zero. In just a moment, the grass ninja trader hidden in the team became the first soul of Hitaki Sho's men. Then, a pleasant sound of gold coins arriving in Hitaki Sho's mind rang, diluting the discomfort he had just felt after killing someone, allowing him to withdraw from the shadow of killing. After exchanging glances with Kakashi, Hitaki used the body flicker technique to come to Might Guy and whispered, Might Guy, the mission target is left to you to protect, Kakashi and I will deal with the traitors and the team first. After that, he handed the flying thunder god Kanai given to him by Namikaze Minato to Might Guy. Okay, I'll wait for you at the designated location. Might Guy took the flying thunder god Kanai without hesitation. He was very clear about the mission he was responsible for. Speaking of which, Might Guy, even if these three people are our mission targets, you have to cheer up. Hitaki Shang reminded him again, after all, there are traitors in the team escorting the Kusanagi, and there may be similar situations among these three people. I understand, Might Guy nodded, and then took the three Kusanagi intelligence officers to take a detour again. In the moment of their brief conversation, Hitaki Shang received several notification sounds of gold coins arriving in succession. Ding! Assisted attack to kill Kusanagi Chunin, gold coins plus 47. Earth! Ding! Assist in killing Chunin, gold plus 47. The continuous beeping sound, coupled with the nine gold coin prompts, Hitaki Shang immediately understood the current situation. It was Namikaze Minato who showed his power. Only Namikaze Minato's flying thunder god technique could kill Chunin so easily and wipe out the Jonin team. Kakashi was not without achievements. With the help of Namikaze Minato, he had seriously injured three Kusagakar traders. Hitaki Shang picked up the kunai without hesitation and rushed forward. Puff puff puff. Three sounds of metal entering the flesh were heard. Hitaki Shang hit three seriously injured Kusagakar traders with his precise throwing skills. Although he was a little uncomfortable, the gold coin prompts in the past few weeks made him quickly adapt to the bloody scene in front of him. Brother, the traders and the team are the three but. Kakashi hesitated and glanced at a grass ninja who was holding his abdomen and leaning against a tree, he was seriously injured by the traitor's sneak attack and can no longer keep up with us. Kakashi's meaning was obvious, but Hitaki Sho still decided to treat the seriously injured friendly. The purple-red chakra chain tied the seriously injured grass ninja's waist, and a ball of chakra rich in vitality was injected into his body. Kakashi, who was standing next to Hitaki Sho, quickly supported him and glanced coldly at the grass ninja's hair that had recovered. Ah, ah, am I really okay? The grass ninja didn't notice Kakashi's eyes, but just jumped in place, repeatedly checking the wound that had completely healed. Gather, hurry up, Kakashi said coldly, and then whispered to Hitaki Sho, Brother, do you need me to carry you? No, it will be fine in a while. Hitaki Sho shook his head, then walked side by side with Kakashi, leading the remaining five Kusanagi, chasing in the direction of Might Guy at full speed. At the same time, Namikaze Minato also cleared the first wave of ambushed enemies, looked at the dying Kusanagi friendly, and sighed helplessly. This is healing medicine, although it can't save you, it can at least make your death less painful. Namikaze Minato handed over a small bottle, and then instantly used the flying thunder god technique, and appeared next to Might Guy in less than a breath. Might Guy, where are Ming and Kakashi? 
Seeing that there were only Might Guy and three Kusanagi intelligence ninjas in the team, Namikaze Minato felt nervous. Teacher Minato, there are traitors in the remaining Kusanagi escort team. In order to eliminate these dangers and guard against subsequent ambushes, Ming and Kakashi stayed behind to cover the rear. Might Guy had a resolute face, but his voice was a little trembling. I understand. Namikaze Minato turned his head and looked back, keep going, I believe Ming and Kakashi can handle it. This is not because Namikaze Minato is careless, but because the two brothers Hitaki Shang and Kakashi are very strong. Even if they face ordinary cage-level strongmen, they can escape. What's more, Hitaki Shang has a steady and meticulous personality and will never take risks. After all, the mission target is not dangerous, and Chi Shu Shang and Kakashi will never hesitate when they retreat. Friendly troops are just friendly troops, far less important than ninjas from the same village. When it is time to abandon them, Hitaki Shang will never be soft-hearted. However, Namikaze Minato did not expect that under the temptation of a large amount of gold coins, Hitaki Shang pulled Kakashi into another encirclement without hesitation. Boom! A loud bang was accompanied by flames rising into the sky, and thick smoke rose up, choking people to open their eyes. When Hitaki Shang brought Wen Kakashi and the remaining five Kusanagi ran into another encirclement, they were greeted by a detonating trap that had been set up long ago. Iz Iz Iz. As the smoke dissipated, a cough broke the brief silence after the explosion, and two figures back to back appeared. Brother, are you okay? I'm fine. Hitaki Shang stopped coughing, if you hadn't pulled me just now, I might have died here. I said, as long as I'm alive, my brother will never be in trouble. Quote. Ha 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 ha, what a deep brotherly love. Before Hitaki Sho could reply, a rough laugh suddenly sounded. In the surrounding bushes and deep in the forest, ninjas wearing Kusagakar forehead protectors appeared one by one, some standing, some squatting on trees. Hitaki Sho took a glance and roughly estimated the number of people in ambush. Hee hee, you really think highly of us. The ambush of nearly 30 people really flattered me. He smiled faintly, and his eyes became sharp. Although the ambush set by these people looked dangerous, their strength was not enough. The leading ninja barely reached the level of Jonin, and was also the bottom among Jonin. The remaining ninjas had uneven strength, Chunin and Jenin almost occupied the seats. Hee <laughs> hee, there will be bigger surprises waiting for you later. The leading ninja snorted coldly, waved his hand, and whispered to the ninja beside him, you can seriously injure them, but don't kill them. We need to use them to threaten Namikaze Minato. Quote. I understand. Hitaki Sho couldn't hear the conversation between the two, but he saw that the encirclement was getting tighter and tighter, and knew that the test was coming. Hitaki Kakashi, are you afraid? Hitaki Sho asked softly. No, they should be the ones to be afraid of. Kakashi's eyes were cold, these small characters were not worth mentioning at all. In this way, Kakashi could no longer control his own strength, and he could hardly leave Hitaki Sho a chance in the team battle. Hitaki Sho naturally understood this, so he instructed, don't hold back, just kill them. Okay, as soon as the voice fell, bursts of white smoke came out. These smokes were like a signal of attack. The surrounding ninjas stepped forward quickly, and the ninja tools and ninjutsu in their hands attacked Hitaki Sho and Kakashi. The purple-red chakra chain was wrapped around Kakashi's waist, which greatly improved his physical abilities and almost instantly raised his strength to the elite Jonin level. Not good. The leader ninja who was watching the battle on the sidelines changed his expression greatly. Just as he was about to join the battle, he suddenly felt his hair stand on end. He immediately stopped and retreated as fast as he could. Whoosh. Just as the leader ninja retreated, a thin purple-blue line swept across the place where he had just stood. The surrounding thick trees were cut off, and the cut was smooth and flat, like a wooden mirror. Well done, Hitaki Kakashi. Hitaki Sho was as excited as a monkey, because he had just received a lot of gold coins. But the excitement soon passed, and Hitaki Sho calmed down again. Hitaki Kakashi, those who were killed by storm release just now were all Jenin and a few Chunin with lower strength. According to the gold coin notification, Hitaki Sho could accurately distinguish how many ninjas were killed by Kakashi's storm release just now, as well as the specific strength of these ninjas. Then I'll go, brother. Quote. Kakashi's shadow clone has dissipated after releasing storm release. After all, 
Kakashi's Shadow Clone's training of Storm Release has not been completed yet. Basically, Shadow Clone will dissipate after using it once. At this stage, Shadow Clone Storm Release is equivalent to a self-destruction style of play, which is more than enough to clear the field, but it is still a little short of the heat to bring this move to the table. Kakashi's current total chakra is not enough for him to squander like Naruto. Therefore, the most trustworthy thing for Kakashi now is the ninja sword in his hand. Hitaki Shang was very diligent in tying Kakashi with a purple-red chakra chain, and every five seconds he would launch a passive attack on the surrounding enemies. With the assistance of Hitaki Shang, a ninja was hit by Kakashi's sword shield. Drop, assisted attack to kill Chunin, gold coins plus 4-7. Then, another ninja was pierced through the chest by Hitaki Zhang's passive attack, and there was another burst of blood in the air. Drop, assisted attack to kill Chunin Chunin, gold plus 4-7. Body flicker technique after dodging the attack of three ninjas, Hitaki Sho and Kakashi exchanged positions. The purple-red chakra chain passed through the waists of the three ninjas, not only causing them damage, but also causing them to temporarily stiffen. New Hitaki Sword Technique Sweep This sword is extremely simple, but it is swung at an astonishing speed. Coupled with the powerful thunder attribute chakra nature transformation, a crescent-shaped thunder blade energy extends forward at a speed that is difficult to see with the naked eye. Thunder attribute chakra has the advantages of activating the body, paralyzing the body, and thrusting with force. When the charged blade energy passed through the three ninjas, the aftermath also affected several ninjas behind them who had no time to react. The three ninjas who besieged Hitaki Sho and Kakashi just now were obviously dead. Several ninjas behind them trembled and opened their eyes wide, watching a snow-white blade light getting closer and closer. Moo, moo, being affected by the thunder attribute the paralyzed body of Chakra was motionless, and the last thought echoed in the falling head. But it was too late. Kakashi's sword was also fast, accurate, and fierce. Just as he was about to kill the next enemy, a wall of earth suddenly appeared, blocking the snow-white sword light he swung. The leading Jonin who temporarily left the battlefield took action. Earth style Earth Shore Return. This is a C level ninjutsu. Although the level is not high, the defense is very strong. Moreover, Earth style just restrains lightning style. For Kakashi, who can only integrate Thunder Attribute Chakra into swordsmanship at this stage, this earth wall is quite difficult to deal with. Bang! With a muffled sound, earth fragments fell one after another. The two ninjas hiding behind the thick earth wall finally escaped from Kakashi's sword. But this is only temporary. Kakashi saw that the attack missed, so he did not attack, but immediately launched the body flicker technique, and his body quickly retreated a long distance. But even so, he was unable to escape the 15-meter effective range of Hitaki Sho's first skill, and Hitaki Sho's buff effect was still in effect. I'll restrain the masked guy, and you guys kill the other one as soon as possible. The leading Jonin quickly discovered Hitaki Sho's auxiliary role and decisively issued an order. In the battle between ninjas, medical, perception and auxiliary ninjas must be dealt with first. Don't even think about it. Kakashi gritted his silver teeth under the mask and raised his long sword to meet the charging leading Jonin. Don't worry about me, Hitaki Sho reminded Kakashi loudly from behind. He didn't want Kakashi to be distracted when dealing with Jonin of the same level. Both of them are Jonin. Although Kakashi is stronger, fighting at the same level will never be as easy as fighting against Chunin just now. The two will fight for 40 or 50 moves before the winner can be determined. In the next 40 or 50 moves, Hitaki Sho will have to face more than 10 Chunin level enemies alone. I can handle it. Don't forget that I'm your brother. Hitaki Sho understood Kakashi's character and how much he was obsessed with protecting himself, so he reminded him again. Seeing that Kakashi did not show any impatience, Hitaki Sho finally felt relieved. Glancing at the ninjas who had gathered around him, and then looking at his gold coin balance, Hitaki Sho had already made a plan in mind. This time, the B-level mission outside the village has now been upgraded to A-level, and is even close to the difficulty of S-level missions. Although it is full of dangers, Hitaki Sho is very excited. This is Hitaki Sho's current gold coin balance. Combined with his previous bulk spell books, he only needs 29 gold coins to buy the intermediate equipment, the Book of Blood Clan. 
In other words, as long as Hitaki Sho gets an assist or kills a genin himself, he can instantly improve his strength. In a flash, Hitaki Sho immediately took action. A ninja injured by Kakashi Shadow Clone Storm release became his target. The body quickly started, raised his hand to attack passively, and at the same time, his hands quickly formed seals. Lightning style go to the ground. An electric net spread rapidly along the ground like a spider web. Although lightning style earth walking doesn't spread far, but it covers a wide area, has a great lethality, and has a significant paralysis effect. So, the ninjas who surrounded Hitaki Shang jumped up and scattered, trying to avoid the attack range of lightning style earth walking. As expected, they all successfully avoided it, but Hitaki Shang also achieved his goal. Behind the group of people who surrounded Hitaki Shang, there was no longer any obstacle between the injured ninja and Hitaki Shang. And the passive attack that Hitaki Shang launched in advance locked him like Lion Majesty and attacked him fiercely in the chest. Swish, Flying Thunder God Technique, Hitaki Shang has not learned it yet, but he has mastered the prerequisite ninjutsu of Flying Thunder God Technique, Body Flicker Technique, and has a deep attainment. Almost in an instant, Hitaki Shang appeared behind the injured ninja with a kunai in his hand, and stabbed his neck artery fiercely with the kunai in his hand. Bang! As a result, Hitaki Shang stabbed in the air, and the ninja used body replacement technique as temporarily out of service. However, Hitaki Sho was not surprised, as he had expected this scene. Bye, goodbye, Hitaki Sho said softly. Body replacement technique can dodge his kunai attack, and can also dodge his passive attack at the right time. But, body replacement technique cannot be used continuously in a short period of time, otherwise it will become a loophole, rather than the last means of survival for many ninjas. Although Hitaki Sho's first wave of attacks was dodged, the power was equivalent to the passive attack of AB-level ninjutsu, and it actually hit the injured ninja's chest. How can a ninjutsu automatically lock onto the enemy and turn? This was the injured ninja's last thought, and then his eyes went dark, and his consciousness sank into endless darkness. Ding! Killed the Kusanagi Chunin, gold plus 9-4. Hitaki Sho's mouth corners slightly raised, completely ignoring the various attacks from behind. He quickly spent almost all of his gold coins, bought the Bloodline book in the equipment mall, and materialized it. Swoosh! Hitaki Sho used the body flicker technique to dodge the attack from behind. The Bloodline book brought him a talent for ninjutsu, which made him more comfortable using the body flicker technique. It is no exaggeration to say that with the blessing of the Bloodline book, Hitaki Sho has already ranked among the top ranks of the entire ninja world with the body flicker technique alone. The effect of body flicker technique on a small battlefield is definitely 70% of the power of flying thunder god technique. Swish, swish, swish. Hitaki Sho's body flicker technique is extremely smooth, and his figure is like a ghost. Every time the afterimage passes by, it takes the life of a Kusagakur ninja. The continuous use of body flicker technique has also reduced his burden a lot, and the number of consecutive uses has increased from the original 11 times to 18 times. This also means that Hitaki Sho is one step closer to successfully using the first stage of Flying Thunder God technique. Hitaki Sho heard several prompt sounds in succession. Ding! Kill Kusagakur Nin Chunin, Gold Coins plus 9-4. Ding! Kill Kusagakur Nin Chunin, Gold Coins plus 9-4. This series of sounds made him completely ignore the fact that he was harvesting lives one by one, and made him feel no resistance or discomfort when he killed someone for the first time. White-haired ghost, he is a white-haired ghost. As the afterimages flashed again and again, the Kusagakur ninjas kept falling down. This powerless and shocking scene deeply hurt the remaining Kusagakur ninjas. They only had one thought in their hearts, run. The fear and sense of crisis made them lose the courage to continue fighting, and they threw out shurikens and fled in all directions. The idea of using shurikens to attack in a large area to stop Hitaki Shang was good, but in his opinion, it was just a stupid move in a crisis. With his current level of body flicker technique, how could a mere shuriken block it? Exposing the back to the enemy is tantamount to suicide, so it is better to go all out and fight. Hitaki Shang locked on the target one by one, and the kunai in his hand was merciless. Those four or five ninjas who were fleeing in all directions, in less than two seconds, all became the dead souls under his knife. Ding! Killed the undercover Chunin of the Root of Konoha, gold coins plus 9-4.
When Hitaki Shang killed the last ninja, he heard the prompt of gold coins arriving, and he chuckled. This mission is indeed a bit Shimura Danzo style. He glanced at Kakashi who had already gained the upper hand, knowing that Kakashi would be able to deal with the Jonin who led the Kusagakur in a dozen moves, so he felt relieved. Then, he squatted down to check the root undercover ninja who died at his hands. Ah, the warm, sticky, fishy blood covered his hands, and the discomfort that was covered by the excitement of the gold coins instantly surged into his heart. Killing people is not something you can get used to immediately. He covered his mouth and nose with one hand, and although he felt uncomfortable, he still resisted the churning in his stomach and continued to search the body. What if this root undercover has some important information or clues? After searching for a while, Hitaki Shang stood up disappointed. In addition to confirming that this ninja was indeed an undercover sent by the root to the Kusagakur village, he did not find any useful clues. Swoosh. As soon as the body flicker technique was activated, Hitaki Shang appeared behind the Kusagakur leader Jonin, and the purple red chakra chain instantly locked the opponent. Before the opponent could react, Hitaki Shang immediately activated the third skill Tai Gua Changsheng, and a ball of chakra light hit his back along the chakra chain. Puff, the Kusagakur Jonin was hit by this blow, and his vitality was directly lost by one third, and it disappeared completely. This is bad. After losing vitality, the Kusagakur Jonin fell into a weak state, and Kakashi, who attacked him head on, seized the opportunity and stabbed him through with a ninja sword. Hitaki Shang was not idle either. At this time, when else would he not grab heads? After all, 300 gold coins are too tempting. With Hitaki Sho's final blow, Jonin Kamiju Kuichi of Kusagakur village stopped struggling, collapsed to the ground, and his body gradually lost temperature. Ding! Killed Jonin Kamiju Kuichi of Kusagakur village, gold coins plus 300. Hearing the sound of gold coins arriving, Hitaki Sho glanced at his gold coin balance and was immediately overjoyed. After purchasing the Bloodline book, Hitaki Sho's gold coin balance once hit the bottom, but he just killed one Jonin, 12 Chunin and 4 Jenin, and now the gold coin balance has reached 4 digits, 1680 gold coins. These gold coins are enough for Hitaki Sho to synthesize a large piece of equipment, and there is even some left to buy a few intermediate equipment. However, after thinking about it, Hitaki Shang decided not to spend 850 gold coins to synthesize the God Eater book for the time being, because at this stage, the attributes of the God Eater book are not suitable for him. God Eater book. Due to the influence of the Hokage world, the attributes of this equipment have changed. When it is materialized and carried on the body, it will increase the user's all ninjutsu talents by 18%, and increase the skill cooldown time by 10% and the maximum life energy by 10%. Passive Skill Bloodthirst. When the user casts a ninjutsu or skill and hits the enemy, 25% of the damage caused will be converted into health points and injected into the user's body. From the perspective of attributes, the God Eater book focuses more on continuous endurance and self-development, and the improvement of strength is relatively slow and stable, which is an icing on the cake equipment. But what Hitaki Shang urgently needs now is a significant improvement in strength, so the God Eater book is not his best choice at present. The big stick worth 820 gold coins, although its attributes are relatively simple, is amazing for Hitaki Shang. The big stick can increase all ninjutsu talents by 12%, and can allow the user to instantly perform various types of ninjutsu. These two gains are a timely help for Hitaki Shang. Without hesitation, Hitaki Shang directly bought two big sticks and materialized them, holding one in each hand. At this time, the equipment on Hitaki Zhang's body has improved his strength to an amazing degree. All ninjutsu talents have increased by 31.5%. However, the two materialized big sticks made him a little embarrassed. Although the equipment description is called, Big Stick, it turned into a purple, one-handed cane similar to a tin cane after materialization. A purple cane in each hand looks a bit weird. Facing Kakashi's inquiring eyes, Hitaki Shang also felt a little headache. How to explain these two things in his hands? The equipment in the equipment store can be materialized and used, which allows Hitaki Shang to get rid of the limitation of the equipment column, and the future space for development will become wider. But to be honest, many equipment in King of Glory are somewhat abstract after being materialized, which does not fit the style of the Hokage world. Let alone whether it is a play or not, 
just looking at the two purple canes in his hand, Hitaki Shang is a little uncomfortable. After thinking about it, he took out a sealing scroll from the ninja bag and sealed the cane in his left hand into it. After sealing it into the scroll, Hitaki Shang found that the blessing effect brought by the equipment did not weaken. It seems that the condition of carrying on the body to trigger the equipment effect is indeed literal, and thinking too much will only cause trouble. No matter whether the materialized equipment is sealed in the scroll or stored in a different space, as long as the condition of carrying on the body is finally met, the effect of the equipment will take effect. In this way, Hitaki Zhang's troubles disappeared instantly. He sealed the purple cane in his right hand into the scroll again. After doing all this, Hitaki Sho put the seal scroll back into the ninja tool bag and turned his attention to Kakashi. Hitaki Kakashi, let's go to support the teacher and guy. Yeah. Kakashi put the knife back into the sheath, but still couldn't help asking, brother, what about those two purple canes just now? You mean the canes? Those are my trophies. Quote, Hitaki Shang made up a random excuse to get away with it. Although Kakashi didn't quite believe it, he didn't ask any more questions. When Hitaki Shang and Kakashi dealt with the second wave of ambush ninjas, Namikaze Minato and Might Guy continued to move forward with the mission target and encountered trouble. A bottomless cliff appeared in front of the team led by Namikaze Minato. The only way to pass was a rope bridge connecting the two sides of the cliff. Although Namikaze Minato could use Flying Thunder God technique to cross the cliff, if he brought other people, it would greatly increase his chakra consumption. Ninjas will try to save Chakra when performing tasks, and Namikaze Minato is no exception. Unless it is absolutely necessary, he will not use Flying Thunder God technique to hurry on the road. He must keep enough Chakra to deal with any emergencies. Therefore, the rope bridge in front of them became their only passage. Stop! Namikaze Minato gestured and shouted loudly. At the other end of the rope bridge, a large group of ambushing ninjas showed up without any concealment, with fearless expressions on their faces. The reason why they were so arrogant was that they thought they had the best time, place and people. In terms of numbers, they were almost eight times the five people of Namikaze Minato. In terms of terrain, they controlled the suspension bridge on the cliff. In addition, the ninja squadron ambushing in the rear should have captured Hitaki Shang and Kakashi by now. Although their personal strength was not as good as Namikaze Minato, if the plan went well, capturing Hitaki Shang and Kakashi would force Namikaze Minato to surrender. Namikaze Minato, I know you are very fast. You killed a squadron of my people in almost a blink of an eye. Across the cliff, a grass ninja shouted loudly, but unfortunately, your two disciples have fallen into our hands. If you don't want them to get into trouble, give up this escort mission. Hearing this, Namikaze Minato's face was so gloomy that it seemed like water could drip out. Although he didn't believe that Hitaki Sho and Kakashi would be captured, he didn't dare to act rashly for the sake of safety. But even if Namikaze Minato didn't act immediately, he would definitely test the opponent's strength first. Aren't you afraid that the wind will flick your tongue? Namikaze Minato said coldly, I know the strength of my two disciples. Your ambushing ninjas are no match for them at all. Ha ha ha, what if the number is more than 10 times theirs, and there is also a team led by Shangu? The leading ninja on the opposite side crossed his arms and raised his eyebrows at Namikaze Minato, in less than five minutes, your two disciples will be escorted here, and then. Before he finished speaking, Namikaze Minato suddenly threw several flying thunder god kanai, flew over the cliff, and shot at their feet. The next moment, Namikaze Minato disappeared. There was a commotion among the large group of ninjas on the other side of the cliff, and blood was splattered everywhere. Five minutes was enough for Namikaze Minato to kill them twice and then go back to rescue Hitaki Sho and Kakashi. In terms of mowing and rescue speed, Namikaze Minato dares to admit that he is second, and no one dares to claim first place. After all, Namikaze Minato has been on the road of rescue all his life, and his ability in this aspect is definitely the strongest in the ninja world. Now that we know that Hitaki Sho and Kakashi have not fallen into the hands of these people, don't blame Namikaze Minato for being ruthless. However, just when Namikaze Minato suddenly attacked and killed a large group of ninjas who were blocking the road, Might Guy suddenly realized that something was wrong. He dodged sideways to the extreme, and a kanai passed by his neck, leaving a thin red mark on his neck. 
His heart beat rapidly for a few times, and a drop of cold sweat slid across Might Guy's forehead. In addition to his own vigilance, he was able to dodge this attack. In addition to his own vigilance, he also had to thank Hitaki Sho for his previous reminder. Seeing that the first attack missed, the traitor turned to the Kanai and sneak attacked the intelligence officer on the other side of Might Guy. Boom! As the sound of the body falling into the cliff sounded, the rebellious Kusagakur intelligence officer took out the scroll from his former teammate's arms and opened it with one hand. As expected, the information here is empty. In that case, since the information from him and me is all fake, the real information is on you. Don't even think about it. Just when the rebellious intelligence officer was about to attack another intelligence ninja, Might Guy roared, his body instantly started, and a powerful whip kick kicked the rebellious officer's head. Bang, bang, the rebellious ninja is quite strong, able to deal with Might Guy, and at the same time deal with the counterattack of another surviving grass ninja. One against two, not at all inferior, and can even be said to be suppressing Might Guy and the two. DB, DB, a painful groan came, the remaining intelligence ninja was injured, and the rebellious ninja's eyes lit up, and the attack in his hand became faster. Take advantage of his illness, take his cup. The rebellious ninja's plan is simple, that is, to attack the injured intelligence ninja fiercely, want to kill him as quickly as possible and obtain the real information from him, and then escape. The injured intelligence ninja was defeated by the traitor ninja's swift attack, which made Might Guy's heart alarm. Open the gate, open. With a roar, Might Guy crossed his hands in front of his forehead, and the chakra in his body suddenly surged, and his body's agility, speed and strength increased explosively at the same time. Open the rest gate, open the life gate, instantly opening the third gate, Might Guy's strength soared. He was originally at the bottom of the eighth team, and instantly jumped to the level of the top chunin. If only considering physical skills, he can already be on par with some weaker jonin. Whoosh! A breeze blew by, and the rebel ninja frowned and stopped attacking. Might Guy, who opened the third gate, was too fast. He kept circling around him, trying to interfere with and confuse his opponent, and looking for the best time to attack. How is it possible? How can this kid suddenly burst out so fast? It's so fast that I can't see his movements clearly. The opportunity has come. Just when the rebel ninja felt bad and was in a dilemma, my guy sees the opportunity and quickly approached, kicked his chin with a high kick, and kicked him into the air. Konoha Gangtaijutsu, the lotus flower. This is my guy's dance of youth, blooming for the first time. The lotus flower can be regarded as a basic and lethal move in Konoha's fluid technique. Although in the later era of God's fighting, this basic physical technique is rarely used, but at this stage, this physical technique still has its place. When the rebel ninja's chin was hit hard, the huge force was quickly transmitted to the brain through the mandible, causing concussion and hindering some functions of the vagus nerve, causing the cerebellum to rapidly decrease its control over the trunk. This made the rebel ninja who was kicked into the air still conscious, but his body could not make an effective response. Even if the ninja's physique can quickly recover the brain and cerebellum, it will take some time. What Might Guy has to do is to use this short reaction time to play the next combo. With a flash, Might Guy used his own skyrocketing speed and chakra to flash behind the rebel ninja at a speed not inferior to the body flicker technique, and kicked him in the middle of the spine with one leg. After being attacked by Might Guy for the second time, the rebel ninja's body in the air rose again, and now it is nearly three meters away from the ground. Unable to use force in the air, the rebel ninja can only rely on his physical strength, and physical strength can only change the direction of his body. Moreover, the rebel ninja's body was still in a state of dizziness and he could not use the ninjutsu he mastered, so he could only passively take the beating. Might Guy, who had made two consecutive hits, pursued the victory, punching and kicking the rebel ninja higher and higher, until he stopped about 10 meters from the ground. Might Guy was like stepping on a transparent glass bridge at this time, his body moving at high speed in the air as if walking on flat ground. Suddenly, Might Guy suddenly jumped up and hit the rebel ninja's abdomen with his knee, causing his body to flip over and suffer serious injuries. Might Guy continued to use his fists and feet to beat the rebel ninja upside down. Then, Might Guy stopped attacking and began to circle around the rebel ninja quickly. When the speed reached a certain level, he suddenly hugged the other party with both hands. 
The two of them spun and fell like spinning tops, with their eyes closed. Bang! Crack! Finally, the two of them landed, Might Guy landed firmly on his feet, while the rebellious ninja landed on his head. A small pit was smashed into the ground, and the rebellious ninja's neck was strangely bent, and one could even see the spine that broke through the flesh. After eating the entire set of lotus flowers, the rebellious ninja was completely dead, and Might Guy finally breathed a sigh of relief. On the other side, Namikaze Minato was already bloodthirsty when Might Guy dealt with the enemy. Run, don't kill me, don't kill me. Come out, come out and fight me squarely. What's the use of sneak attacks? Ah, I'm a ninja from Kusagakur, and I'm an ally of Kanahagakur, you can't. Don't kill me, I'm just following orders, the rest of me. The scene was in chaos. Some people ran away, some shouted to boost their courage, some threatened with words, some begged for mercy, and some tried to distance themselves from the matter. All kinds of voices intertwined together, more annoying than a thousand mosquitoes. Namikaze Minato didn't speak, at this moment he seemed like an emotionless robot. The kunai in his hand sometimes stabbed out, sometimes lifted up, and life disappeared like a revolving lantern in his hands. The time limit was five minutes, and Namikaze Minato took less than three minutes to clean up this large group of ambushing ninjas. Tick tock, the tip of the pitch black kunai pointed obliquely to the ground, and warm blood dripped along the blade, soon merging into a reddish brown river. The source of this bloody river was the ninjas lying on the ground in all directions, with expressions of confusion, panic and surprise on their faces. Ha! Huh. Namikaze Minato's breathing was a little heavy. He had experienced two consecutive battles, killing more than 40 enemies in total, and his physical fatigue made him feel uncomfortable. Shaking his sore arms, Namikaze Minato looked at the kunai that had already been somewhat bent, and threw it away casually. In a flash, Namikaze Minato came to Might Guy and said in a serious tone, Might Guy, although I don't know whether what this group of people said just now is true or false, I still need to find out the specific situation of Ming and Kakashi. Namikaze Minato certainly still remembered how fearless the group of people who had been wiped out were at the beginning. They also threatened that they would definitely catch Hitaki Shang and Kakashi within five minutes, which made Namikaze Minato feel extremely anxious. But now only three minutes have passed, Namikaze Minato feels there is still a chance to rescue Hitaki Sho and Kakashi. You continue to protect the mission target and move forward for five minutes. If I don't show up after five minutes, you find a safe place to hide and wait patiently for me to come back. Yes, Minato teacher, Might Guy answered loudly. But, Namikaze Minato, I think you should continue to escort me. The only surviving intelligence ninja in this mission trembled, you should complete the mission first. If you go to save them, I will probably. I believe Guy can protect you. Namikaze Minato glanced coldly at the only remaining intelligence ninja, don't question my decision. I am confident that I can ensure the safety of you and another disciple while saving my disciple. Namikaze Minato raised his hand and pointed to the other side of the cliff, then disappeared in a flash. Gulp. The only surviving Kusagakur intelligence ninja swallowed his saliva, and his calves felt a little weak. The hell scene in the distance was like a red-hot iron, which was imprinted in his heart, not only making him tremble, but also leaving an indelible mark. Drop, 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 the sound of gold coins jumping should have been the most beautiful sound in the world. But at this moment, Hitaki Shang was on his way, but his face was more solemn than ever before. He counted carefully, and the prompt sound of the attack assisting the jump money sounded a full 30 times, and the sound lasted less than 3 minutes. Although this showed the power of flying thunder god technique from the side, Hitaki Shang knew that Namikaze Minato must have encountered an extremely critical situation, otherwise he would not use this move so frequently. You know, every time you use flying thunder god technique, it will put a burden on the body. Even a gifted person like Namikaze Minato cannot withstand such high-intensity continuous use. The most important thing when going out on a mission is to stay in the best condition. Hitaki Sho could choose a more labor-saving method to deal with it, but Namikaze Minato chose the most time-saving and physically demanding method. Hitaki Sho immediately realized that Might Guy was probably ambushed by the enemy, so Namikaze Minato was so eager to rescue him. Hitaki Kakashi, speed up! Guy is in danger. Yeah, Kakashi nodded, with his hands behind his back, 
and a little more anxiety on his face, might die, you must hold on. Sometimes, own goals happen inadvertently. Most own goals are really ridiculous, such as the own goals of a certain men's football team, which occur several times a year, which is really shocking. But there are also very few own goals that make people feel inexplicably moved. Show, Kakaka, are you okay? Teacher, 030, is Guy okay? Teacher Minato, Guy, when the three met, they all spoke anxiously at the same time, and the content of their questions was different, but the bond between team aid was fully revealed at this moment. You, weren't captured, teacher, Guy wasn't kidnapped. After a moment of silence, Namikaze Minato and Hitaki Sho spoke at the same time again. STI, teacher, you go first. Kakashi rolled his eyes and said first. Teacher Minato, we were not captured, did Guy have any accidents? No, Guy completed his mission very well, and his training results during this period also surprised me. Namikaze Minato figured it out and thought the scene just now was a little funny. He smiled gently and glanced at Hitaki Sho and Kakashi. Seeing that they had no scars on their bodies, he finally put his mind at ease. I'm glad you're all right. We have to reunite with Guy quickly. The mission is not yet completed and accidents may happen at any time. Might Guy, Hitaki Shang. With the help of Namikaze Minato's Flying Thunder God technique, the three quickly reunited with Might Guy who continued to perform the protection mission. The members of Team 8 gathered again, which means that this escort mission is coming to an end. However, the only remaining Kusagakur intelligence ninja looked listless and tired. Hitaki Shang had sharp eyes and noticed the subtle changes on the face of the intelligence ninja, but he didn't say much. With the five major countries dominating the ninja world, small and medium-sized countries struggling to survive in the cracks can easily become victims. As the representative of the country's military power, the ninja village is the first to bear the brunt. Although Hitaki Shang didn't know what the important intelligence that Kusagakur needed to escort this time was, it was obvious that this mission became extremely difficult due to some external factors. As many as 49 Kusagakur Genin and Chunin died under Namikaze Minato, including one of the few Janin. In addition, the 15-man escort team provided by Kusagakur Village was wiped out, leaving only one intelligence ninja. The loss of Kusagakur Village this time was heavy. However, these were no longer issues that Hitaki Sho needed to consider. He only had to complete his mission, and the rest would be left to the rulers of Kusagakur Village and the daimyo of the Land of Grass to worry about. After the ambush was gone, Team 8 quickly escorted the Kusagakur Intelligence Ninja to the scheduled mission location and completed the mission handover. However, during the handover, the Grass Ninja who came to receive the intelligence had a complicated expression on his face, as if he had opened a dying factory. Ah, how could this happen? Hearing the other party's lost voice, Namikaze Minato showed a helpless expression and shook his head bitterly. I'm sorry, there was an accident during the mission, but fortunately the intelligence was not lost. The implication was clear. The eighth team he led was only responsible for completing its own tasks, and the remaining mess had nothing to do with the eighth team and Konoha. The intelligence ninja who came to hand over the task looked at Namikaze Minato deeply, his face full of displeasure. I will remember you, Konoha's eighth team. After that, the ninja left with the remaining intelligence ninja without looking back. Of course, before leaving, he still handed a mission completion receipt to Namikaze Minato. This mission is over. Although there were some twists and turns, it was a complete success. Namikaze Minato put away the receipt. There is still plenty of time left. If you want to go around the land of grass, I can give you a day off at my discretion. Namikaze Minato was very thoughtful. In addition to him and Kakashi, Hitaki Sho and Might Guy were both seeing blood for the first time in Team 8. It is necessary to relax appropriately after the mission is completed. However, no one responded to Namikaze Minato's kindness. Although Hitaki Sho usually likes to play and is a bit lazy, this mission is full of conspiracy, which makes him a little worried about Hitaki Sakumo in Konoha. Kakashi is the same, he is eager to go home and doesn't want to stay at all. Might Guy is a nervous person. With his strong self-regulation ability, killing people will basically not cause any psychological trauma. And according to his youth creed, playing and relaxing is simply a blasphemy against youth, which is far less real than training and sweating. Teacher, I think we should forget it. 
This mission will improve me a lot. I need to seize the time to consolidate my knowledge. Hitaki Shang found an excuse to refuse without hesitation. Teacher Minato, I think so too. Might Guy scratched his head, youth should not be wasted on playing. The main theme of youth is sweat and blood. Okay, in this case, let's go back to the village. Namikaze Minato waved his hand and took the eighth team on the road back to the village. But at the moment when Namikaze Minato turned around, Hitaki Shang still noticed a trace of unnaturalness on his face. Forget it, let's talk to the teacher alone when we rest. Quote, Hitaki Shang had already made up his mind and followed Namikaze Minato silently. He took advantage of this free time to figure out how to spend the gold coins in his hand. When he encountered an ambush for the first time, Hitaki Shang spent all the assist coins Namikaze Minato gave him. But in the third ambush, Namikaze Minato went all out and let Hitaki Shang gain another 4.8 gold coins. Now Hitaki Zhang's gold coin balance is 2031, enough for him to buy another big equipment. He thought about continuing to buy some small equipment to give to familiar ninjas to earn more assist coins. But thinking carefully, this path is not realistic for him at this stage. First of all, the equipment in the equipment mall, even small pieces, can significantly improve the strength of the ninja, and the effect is comparable to that of a magic weapon. If only one or two people have this kind of equipment, it is easy to explain, but if there are more people, or someone accidentally lets it slip, Hitaki Shang will be in danger. Before you have absolute strength, Hitaki Shang had a very small range of choices, and there were only a few people who could provide equipment with confidence. Therefore, he decided to prioritize improving himself. After a little thought, he chose the equipment he wanted. The attributes of the scholar's wrath change due to the influence of the Hokage world. When it is materialized and carried on the body, it can increase the user's all ninjutsu talents by 24%. The passive effect is called destruction. When the user releases ninjutsu, the power of all types of ninjutsu will increase by 30%. Since Hitaki Shang has already purchased two big sticks, he only needs to spend another 660 gold coins to own this large piece of equipment. After purchasing the Scholar's Wrath, Hitaki Shang still has 1371 gold coins left. The speed boots are also affected by the Hokage world, and their properties have also changed. When it is materialized and carried on the body, it can increase the user's nerve reaction speed, attack speed and movement speed by 25%. The passive effect is called God Speed. When the user moves, he can also get an additional 6% movement speed bonus. The shoes are the second finished equipment that Hitaki Shang intends to buy. Not only is it cheap, only 710 gold coins are needed, but it can also bring a lot of gains, especially the three speeds percentage increase provided, which is very helpful for learning Flying Thunder God technique. The 17 degree nerve reaction speed alone is enough to make the speed boots a very suitable divine equipment for Flying Thunder God technique. As a result, Hitaki Shang only has 661 gold coins left. He decided without hesitation to use these gold coins to buy two spell books and give them to Kakashi. Kakashi's strength is still a little short of maturity, and Hitaki Shang doesn't mind helping him improve. It's good to keep the fat water in the field. In this mission, Hitaki Shang not only earned a lot of gold coins, but also gained a lot of skill experience from assisting in attack kills and killing himself. As mentioned before, Hitaki Zhang's current total skill level is level 4, and he has gained 3 more skill points after this mission. However, the specific allocation of skill points still needs to follow the skill upgrade route in King of Glory, which is not perfect for Hitaki Shang. But with these 3 skill points, his basic skill values will undoubtedly be greatly improved. According to the skill upgrade route, Hitaki Shang added 2 skill points to the first skill, Lin Gua Wuyu. Lin Gua Wuyu. The current skill level is level 4, and the specific effects are as follows. Connecting teammates. Increase physical attack by 27%, ninjutsu attack by 29%, movement speed by 15%, nerve reflex speed by 24%, and attack speed by 24%. Connecting enemies. Reduce the enemy's physical attack by 27%, ninjutsu attack by 29%, movement speed by 20%, nerve reflex speed by 10%, and attack speed by 10%. When connecting to an enemy, 
every 0.5 seconds, it will cause mixed damage of 17% of its basic strength to the enemy, and cause 100% additional damage to other enemies that touch the chakra chain. The strength of the self has been significantly improved, and the value of each bonus has increased by two-thirds. Not only that, the nerve reflex speed and movement speed have also increased by 15%. Hitaki Shang silently read the introduction of the current first skill twice, with a satisfied smile on his face. After the skill level is upgraded to level 4, the first skill not only increases the damage to the enemy, but also greatly improves his own strength. At present, Hitaki Shang still focuses on improving his own strength and deliberately reduces the investment in auxiliary ability. If he wants to focus on auxiliary, he should allocate the main skill points to the second skill instead of the first skill. Because the second skill mainly enhances the auxiliary ability of the chakra chain. At present, the second skill level is level 2, and the specific effects are as follows. Change the connection effect of Lin Guo Wuyu by switching the color of the chakra chain. In the defensive state, you can increase or decrease the physical defense and ninjutsu defense of the connected teammates or enemies by 32%, and at the same time, your own basic physical defense and ninjutsu defense will be strengthened by 60%. Although the introduction of the second skill is a bit complicated, a closer look shows that its potential is still exciting. You must know that the second skill is only level 2 now. If Hitaki Shang focuses on investing in the second skill, the percentage of various attributes of assisting teammates will be greatly improved. The same is true for the percentage of various attributes weakened for the enemy. According to Hitaki Zhang's own estimation, if the current second skill reaches level 4, the percentage of various attributes increased when assisting teammates will exceed 60%. If the second skill is at the maximum level, the improvement value of teammates will exceed 100%, and the weakening effect on enemies will be similar. In this way, Hitaki Shang can directly assist Jonin to become a cage level strongman, and the enemy's cage level strongman will also be weakened to the level of Jonin. This is very scary, however, Hitaki Shang also has to face a reality, the ninjas in the Hokage ninja world are too flexible, and the changes in battle are unpredictable. If you want to convert the ideal value into actual combat power, you have to look at Hitaki Zhang's own strength. Before Hitaki Shang completely learns the Flying Thunder God technique, it is impossible for him to invest precious skill points in the second skill. But if Hitaki Shang learns the Flying Thunder God technique, the situation will be different. Judging from Hitaki Zhang's personality, he prefers to keep a low profile and will not come forward unless it is absolutely necessary. Of course, there is an exception when it comes to grabbing heads. As for the very powerful skill, Tai Gua Chengsheng, Hitaki Shang cannot upgrade it yet, and needs to obtain another skill point. However, the first level of Tai Gua Chengsheng, is enough for Hitaki Shang to use at this stage. The skill, Tai Gua, Cheng Shang, is currently at level 1, and its specific effects are as follows. After connecting to an enemy or a friendly, after a preparation time of 0.75 seconds, the chakra light ball will cause true damage of 33% of the total amount of its basic life energy plus 33% of its basic strength to the enemy connected by the chakra chain. At the same time, the user will lose life energy of the same level. If the chakra chain is connected to a friendly, it will restore the same amount of life energy as the above value, and heal non-fatal injuries within the range of the life energy recovery. If the friendly body is not damaged, the above amount of life energy will be retained in the friendly body, and the resulting buff effect is related to the friendly state. Passive Effect After leaving the battle, the life energy lost by the user when using the third skill will be restored within 10 seconds. After careful calculation, with Hitaki Sho Chunin's current strength and a total life energy that is higher than that of his peers, his healing effect is enough to pull a seriously injured and dying person back from the gates of hell. If it was an enemy, Hitaki Shang thought that a third skill could kill an ordinary Chunin instantly. Even if it couldn't do that, it could make an ordinary Chunin lose his combat effectiveness and become a lamb to be slaughtered under his knife. Really, it's so cool. After seeing the bonuses brought by the three skills to himself, combined with the two finished equipment that appeared, Hitaki Shang was overjoyed and couldn't help sighing in his heart. Killing an arson will get you a gold belt, this principle never changes. A ninja conflict with an intensity close to an S-level mission allowed Hitaki Shang to achieve a huge leap. 
This made him look forward to the upcoming third Ninja World War even more. But then again, if you want to have an easier time in the third war, Flying Thunder God technique is essential. Speaking of Flying Thunder God technique, Hitaki Sho had a hunch that with the help of two finished equipment, he could already start practicing the first stage of Flying Thunder God technique. He glanced at the leader Namikaze Minato in front of him, and ran two steps to catch up. Teacher, are we almost at the rest point? Yeah, at this speed, we'll be there in half an hour. Namikaze Minato looked at Hitaki Sho, why are you asking this? Teacher, after this battle, I think I'm almost at the threshold of the first stage of Flying Thunder God technique. What? Namikaze Minato paused, say it again. Teacher, there's no need to make such a fuss, right? Hitaki Sho said directly, I just learned a little faster than you did at the beginning. You call it a little faster. Namikaze Minato was a little helpless, and was both angry and amused at Hitaki Sho's way of speaking. Stop. Namikaze Minato made a decisive gesture, rest here, and continue on the road in two hours. After Kakashi and Might Guy stopped, Namikaze Minato looked at Hitaki Sho again, with a warning in his eyes. Sho, if I find out you're lying later, you'll have to double your training when you return to the village. Namikaze Minato walked up to Kakashi and whispered something in his ear. I'll be on guard, Minato-sensei, don't worry. Kakashi nodded, then tilted his head curiously to look at Hitaki Sho. Noticing Kakashi's gaze, Hitaki Sho became even more proud, and took out a flying thunder god kunai from his ninja bag and stabbed it in front of Kakashi. Kakashi felt mixed emotions, astonishment, relief, envy, and self-encouragement. But he had no jealousy or resentment at all. I have to work harder, too, and I can't let my brother fall too far behind. Kakashi watched Namikaze Minato and Hitaki Sho disappear into the depths of the forest, his eyes deep. From the beginning, Kakashi had a special feeling for Hitaki Sho, and now this feeling has become a brother control. Because they are twins, Kakashi looks at Hitaki Sho as if he were looking at himself, and the brotherhood between the two far exceeds that of other brothers. Ha ha ha. The laughter was deliberately suppressed, but the joy could not be concealed. Hitaki Kakashi, is there anything happy? Might Guy heard Kakashi's laughter and came over curiously. Nothing. Unexpectedly, Kakashi's face changed immediately when Might Guy approached him. His eyebrows that were smiling just now became indifferent. Yeah. Might Guy is a big-headed person. He is not good at reading people's faces, nor is he good at guessing people's thoughts. He believes whatever others say. So, Might Guy didn't think about it anymore, gave up the idea of chatting with Kakashi, turned around and sat cross-legged on the ground to rest. Might Guy's current strength is the weakest in the eighth team. Although he is slightly better than Hitaki Shang and Kakashi in terms of physical fitness, overall, he still needs to rest. In the previous battle, Might Guy opened the third gate in one breath. Although this third gate is the safest of the eight inner gates, it is still a certain burden for Might Guy at this stage. Seeing that Might Guy began to rest, Kakashi once again glanced at the direction where Namikaze Minato and Hitaki Shang disappeared, and then put away all distractions and concentrated on the guard mission. Deep in the dense forest, Namikaze Minato had a serious face. Hitaki Shang was also affected by Namikaze Minato's serious expression and put away his usual playful smile. Come on, Ming, let me see how your flying thunder god technique is going. Namikaze Minato pointed to a big tree in front of him, threw out a flying thunder god kanai, and took off the backpack behind him. What you have to do is to take the flying thunder god kanai off the tree before the backpack falls to the ground, and then hand it to me. Okay, Hitaki Shang nodded, and then visually estimated the distance between the big tree selected by Namikaze Minato and himself. About 150 meters, this distance is simply impossible for the body flicker technique to reach, only the flying thunder god technique can do it. Because the characteristic of body flicker technique is that the farther the distance, the worse the accuracy. Namikaze Minato did this to completely rule out the possibility that Hitaki Sho used the body. Although Namikaze Minato could tell the difference between body flicker technique and flying thunder god technique, it was still meaningful for him to do this. He wanted Hitaki Sho to know that this test was very important. Whoosh! Hitaki Sho took a deep breath, aimed at the big tree 150 meters away, and shot his flying thunder god Kanai with his shoulder. Whoosh! 
At the same time that Hitaki Sho shot the flying thunder god Kanai, Namikaze Minato loosened the shoulder strap of the backpack in his hand. Swoosh! Almost without any sound, Hitaki Sho disappeared from the spot, without even a trace of air fluctuation, as if he had suddenly evaporated. At the same time, Hitaki Sho left a flying thunder god Kanai, which was spinning in the air with the slowly falling backpack. Quote dot opening square bracket. Minato teacher, I have done my job. The flying thunder god Kanai left by Hitaki Shang disappeared. Before it could turn twice in the air, it was held in the hands of the returning Hitaki Shang. Namikaze Minato's backpack was also taken back. After a slight pause, Namikaze Minato did not take the flying thunder god Kanai handed by Hitaki Shang, but looked at him deeply. Well done. He grinned, with tenderness in his smile, but more bitterness, much better than me. It's all because of the good teaching of the teacher. Hitaki Shang did not play tricks this time, but scratched his head shyly. If it was other aspects of teaching, I don't deny that I have contributed. Namikaze Minato took the backpack and Flying Thunder God Kanai and shook his head, but this is Flying Thunder God technique. Talent is far more important than teaching. Whether you can learn it depends on yourself. Namikaze Minato put the Flying Thunder God Kanai into the ninja tool bag and put the backpack on his back again. Just now you have proved to me that you have learned the first stage of the Flying Thunder God technique. Next, let me see how proficient you are. Namikaze Minato stretched his muscles and waved to Hitaki Sho, come on, use the Flying Thunder God technique to compete with me. Ah! Hitaki Sho was a little embarrassed. He had just learned to walk, and it was really difficult for him to run. It's just a competition, and this way I can know more clearly where you need to work hard in the future, so as to give you some specific suggestions. Namikaze Minato has already selected a competition venue with a complex environment, and also gave Hitaki Sho a reason that he couldn't refuse. In that case, teacher, you have to be careful. As soon as the voice fell, Hitaki Sho immediately threw three flying thunder god kanai at Namikaze Minato, blocking Namikaze Minato's attack and retreat routes. Swish, Hitaki Sho's figure flashed, and when he appeared again, he was behind Namikaze Minato, and the kanai in his hand pierced his neck. Strike first is the best way to win in a fight, but strike back also has its advantages. Just as Hitaki Sho attacked, Namikaze Minato had thrown the flying thunder god kanai in his hand. When Hitaki Sho approached, Namikaze Minato also disappeared in a flash. When Namikaze Minato appeared again, he was just behind Hitaki Sho, but the position was not very accurate, specifically above and behind Hitaki Sho. Namikaze Minato did not use the kanai, but playfully flicked Hitaki Sho's head. Ouch! Hitaki Sho let out a humiliating cry, and his figure flashed and changed several positions in a row, but these positions were not conducive to his use, and they were getting farther and farther away from Namikaze Minato. Swish swish swish, Namikaze Minato opened fire with all his strength, and besieged Hitaki Sho with more than a dozen kanai, almost covering all the positions he could dodge. Hitaki Sho felt aggrieved and immediately launched a counterattack. Like Namikaze Minato, he also threw Flying Thunder God Kanai. Although the number of kanai thrown by the two was similar, the positions were very different. Swish, swish, swish. The figures of the master and the apprentice kept interweaving in the woods, one yellow and one silver, shuttling back and forth in the dense forest. There was no smoke, no collision, only the crisp sound of forehead flicks and humiliating shouts. Throughout the scene, the yellow figure always appeared behind the silver figure before it landed. Even if the silver figure sometimes landed early, the yellow figure could follow accurately. No more fighting, no more. Hitaki Shang covered the back of his head with one hand and his forehead with the other hand, and shouted to stop with a wrong face. What's wrong, Shang? Namikaze Minato smiled happily, and it was obvious that he was asking a question even though he knew the answer. You used the first stage of Flying Thunder God technique very well. I, that, ah. Uh. Hitaki Shang scratched his head and suddenly understood Namikaze Minato's intention. Namikaze Minato was proud of himself, especially after Hitaki Zhang's performance just now, which made him decide to teach Hitaki Shang a lesson. Showing off Flying Thunder God technique in front of Namikaze Minato was simply showing off one's skills in front of an expert. Today, 
Namikaze Minato must teach Hitaki Shang a good lesson and let him know that he is the real authority in Flying Thunder God technique. Come again. Quote. Namikaze Minato said lightly, Every ninja has his own proudest point. As long as you provoke in this aspect, no matter how close the relationship is, you will be punished by the other party's small emotions. Hitaki Shang really ran into Namikaze Minato's gun this time. With the help of Ming Xian's hero template, Hitaki Shang learned Flying Thunder God at an astonishing speed. This is indeed the case, and Namikaze Minato was also very surprised, even had a feeling of being better than the master. However, this is a different matter. Hitaki Zhang's attitude towards Namikaze Minato made him really unbearable. Teacher, I was wrong. My forehead is swollen. Another miserable defeat. Hitaki Shang cried and leaned against the big tree, saying that he didn't want to compete with Namikaze Minato again. You still have a lot of shortcomings in the actual combat of Flying Thunder God technique. Namikaze Minato did not point it out directly, but tactfully reminded Hitaki Shang, his Flying Thunder God technique still needs more practice. Hitaki Shang certainly understood this principle, but today he really saw the dark side of Namikaze Minato that was unknown to others. Wasn't it just a few words of backtalk? Even if Namikaze Minato didn't like to praise people, he wouldn't treat him like this, right? Teacher, I know I still have a lot of shortcomings. Hitaki Shang followed Namikaze Minato's words and said, Can you teach me why I always hit a wall every time I fight with you? This is a problem of consciousness, nerve reaction, and the position of the flying thunder god Kanai. Seeing Hitaki Shang asking this, Namikaze Minato stopped teaching him, walked to his side, and began to explain the practical skills of the Flying Thunder God technique. Consciousness is something that needs to be cultivated slowly after birth. It is related to the number of actual combats you have, and it cannot be practiced all at once. As for the speed of nerve reaction, this is a natural attribute of human beings. Although subsequent training can also improve it a little, this is mainly determined by nature and depends on the individual's foundation. However, the specific position of the Flying Thunder God Kanai release BHCI is the technique that you can master most easily now. I just took advantage of the position loophole of your Flying Thunder God Kanai, and I can attack you in front every time. Namikaze Minato took out six Flying Thunder God Kanai, shook them in front of Hitaki Sho, and then threw them on the ground like a fairy scattering flowers. I threw six Flying Thunder God Kanai. Namikaze Minato pointed to the range of his throwing, and then covered Hitaki Sho's eyes with his hands, do you remember their specific positions? DB. After just one glance, Hitaki Sho was covered by Namikaze Minato's eyes and could not continue to observe. He only remembered three positions of Flying Thunder God Kanai. Didn't you remember it clearly? Namikaze Minato smiled, this is your biggest problem now. Learning Flying Thunder God technique does not mean that you can use it proficiently. You still have a long way to go. I know, Master. Hitaki Sho humbly accepted the advice and nodded. When he looked up again, he saw the familiar gentle smile on Namikaze Minato's face. Your talent is similar to mine, and even better than mine in some aspects. As long as you make up for the shortcomings I mentioned, it won't be so easy to beat you next time. Yeah, Hitaki Shang nodded and stopped selling the Flying Thunder God technique. Hitaki Zhang's real purpose was not to tell Namikaze Minato that he had learned the Flying Thunder God technique, but to find a reason to talk to Namikaze Minato alone. You don't seem to be in a good mood. Namikaze Minato was a little confused, is it because I was too heavy just now? No, teacher, I just suddenly thought of a lot of strange things in this mission. Hitaki Shang led the topic to the mission. There is indeed something wrong. Namikaze Minato was stunned for a moment, and the smile on his face disappeared. He patted Hitaki Zhang's shoulder, but the mission has been completed. There is no point in pursuing it. Anyway, I hope you are safe and sound. Thank you, teacher, but don't you have anything to say to me? No, Namikaze Minato lowered his head, obviously not speaking from the heart. But I have something to say. Hitaki Sho didn't want to miss this opportunity, because after returning to the village, it would be difficult for the master and apprentice to have such a private space to talk again. Teacher, I know that this mission was arranged by Shimura Danzo. Hitaki Sho directly pointed out the topic, although I don't know how he specifically operated it, his intention can be seen from this mission. 
If Kakashi and I were unfortunately captured in the second wave of ambush during this mission, what would you do, teacher? Is there any need to ask this? Of course, I would rescue you. Namikaze Minato answered very straightforwardly, but everything is over, isn't it? Your worries did not happen. You should pay more attention to your own strength. As long as you are strong enough, many accidents can be avoided. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.